Will Hunting. So it's a great day out, so mom suggested us that we should head over to Savers, see if they had anything there. So we head into the store. Russ, what you doing? Russ, what you doing? Russ, what you doing? Let's find out. All right, we're checking out Savers, seeing if we can find anything with mom. Great, how are you? They have a whole bunch of PlayStation 1, PS2 games in the showcase right when you walk in. Yeah, a couple games. Mom said they hit the jackpot. Definitely, there's a lot of games in here, but they are priced pretty high at the market value. And then I noticed on the lower showcase, they have two PlayStation 2 games. Silent Hill 2 and Silent Hill 3 on the PlayStation 2. I'm like, let me take a look at these at the case here and let's pull them out. So on the little price sticker, it says include soundtrack $150 for this game right here. Now, in all fairness, I did look it up, see what it's going on, video game price charting and all that, and th that's what it's pretty much going for. I didn't realize it skyrocketed this much, but to get, try to get top dollar at Savers, you get these games for free, again. So they get their items in for free and they have to charge a cost to make money. Now there's the going rate for the item and how much profit they want to make. So why be so greedy and make the absolute most they can on the item. You got it for free. If it's selling for $150, even if you sell it at half for $75, you're still making a profit. I don't get it. 80 bucks for Silent Hill 2. So again, these skyrocket a lot. Now I'm not sure if I have these in my collection. I know I picked up some of the Silent Hill games. I got a box of my PS2 games here because they're boxed away. Let's see if they're in the collection. Uh, all right. Boom. Silent Hill 2 right there. Complete. So that one they're asking 80 bucks for. I already own that one. No Silent Hill 3, unfortunately, though. But I did have a game that they also were selling there. I saw in the showcase, Extermination. And this game's uh, pretty awesome. It's kind of in that same vein of survival horror, but takes place uh, wintertime in the snow, I think in the Arctic. And that one was on the end of the showcase. They're asking $20 for that one. So then we end up heading over to the section where they hang the games on the end cap, and they did have a lot of games there. Well, it looks like they had a lot of video games here stocked in and on um, PS3 games, some Xbox, and uh, yeah. So they had Resident Evil 6 for $7, Grand Theft Auto 4, Grand Theft Auto 3 on the PlayStation 2, The Walking Dead on PS3, a couple sports titles on various systems, and even a few 3DS games. I've never seen this Madden 3DS game. It's mostly a lot of those like shooter style games that were in this collection. So I imagine it was one person, maybe they donated all their games because they're all similar styles. Sports games and then the shooter games. So nothing there really stood out to me that I wanted to pick up. A couple 3DS games. The birds. And the angry birds. Yeah. Oh, Skyrim. So we ended up heading off, checking out the VHSs and, of course, DVDs. And what did you know? They had Silent Hill, the DVD, the movie, based on the game. This one's factory sealed. Now we could get Silent Hill movie. Still sealed. 
I enjoyed them. I don't know. Some people didn't enjoy the movies, but they came out with two movies based on the game, and I liked them. We were just looking at the video games. This is the movie based on them. Oh, okay. Not too much standing out in the VHS. Not too much standing out in the VHS. VHS. Not too much standing out in the VHS section. Uh, they did have two copies of Home Alone and just kind of some generic stuff. No horror things that were in there that stood out, but they did have. Ah, uh, Jesus. <laughs> then I hear mom talking. She finds some, some plates that she's interested in. Rough a look. Some plates. You get the bowls to match. What? Oh four bucks God. for a ball. Yeah, four bucks for the set. Can't go wrong for that. And it's great. Summertime's coming up, so we can use the plates then. <laughs> what? They don't the sell plates? these anymore. Oh, okay. They had this is now, now I'm. Oh, I, I did come across this old uh, projector, definitely vintage. This was over by where the electronics section was, and I was taking a look at it. This definitely will look cool inside someone's movie room as a decoration. Oh, nice. Go, Their mom does spot Mario and Sonic at the Olympics on the DS system. Never had this one before. It could be a fun one, so I figured I'll hang on to it and pick it up. Some kid wanted it, and his mother probably said, Put that down, let's go. <laughs> Super heavy duty power supply. Our power. What is this? Laser burst. Nice. Three bucks. Shoot some lasers. First time I seen this too, they had a bunch of different bags with tools in them. Random tools. A couple screwdrivers in one, a wrench in this one, and they're all various prices. Russell, how much is that? Five bucks for a hatchet. Oh, <laughs> really? Is it sure? Uh, let's see. <laughs> Then onto the back wall where they have a whole bunch of hanging different things and I saw right in the end was a, a Star Wars purse. Looks like someone handmade this. What'd you find, Russell? Like a Star Wars purse. How cute! This could be for, for a boy. <laughs> you know? Yeah, maybe. So I spot this bag right below it with like a strap coming out of it. I'm like, this could be a camera. Let me see if I could get it out, see if the camera's in there. Type a camera in here for four bucks. Old one. So it's an older style of a film camera. I know David Apuzo collects a lot of the film cameras, so maybe this will go to his collection. Yeah, we'll grab it. What is this? The Starship Enterprise? I don't know what it is. <laughs> then headed down to the board game section, kind of, you know, scanning with my eye, and I noticed a Titanfall. Is this Titanfall? This looks like it's a Kinect set that you can build a play set, play okay. area, um, based off of the game Titanfall. Then a few other classic board games. Operation. Press Doe. I've never heard of this one. Furby. 
in Furbies. <laughs> I know Riff loves collecting some Furbies. This is a Furby uh, puzzle game, I guess, essentially. A big puzzle game. I don't know. It kind of looks like you stick it on the wall after. I wasn't opening it. Bruh. Dang it. Regardless. Sick. Talkie Tina, and I'm beginning to hate you. Ah! Oh, look at this. You see? It's a water gun. Yeah, look, the then mom ended up finding a water gun. No price on it, though. How much is this thing? No price. So it was a pretty quick run to Savers. We ended up heading up to cash out. And before I purchased the Mario and Sonic, I said, hey, can you just open it up to make sure the game's in there? And it was not. <laughs> Someone ended up stealing the game on the floor. They're the DS games. They're small, easy to pocket if you don't want the case. So darn you. All right, that was it. I ended up getting that camera. Mom got some plates. No game, because the game was not in there. So that was a, a quick run, and I did just only pick up that camera there. So we were gonna get uh, the Mario and Sonic game, but it wasn't in the case. Someone ended up taking it while I was out on the floor. Good thing I had her open it. So I didn't end up getting that, but I did get the camera. That was uh, four bucks, three ninety nine. Came with the case, and there's the camera itself, and it's it's a film camera. So you put your film in there. But yeah, this will be going to David Apuzo because he collects all the cameras so he can put it into his collection. I don't know if I need the case, but whatever. Huh? Oh, the manual. The, the instruction manual. Are you kidding? Oh, where's the date on the first page? 1993. On the back. Okay, I thought it was older than that. All right. Does he have the little ones? Because uh, I have some little, a few little ones the ball but and you lift it and you stuck it in the top what disposable this was in the 70s that's how cameras <laughs> worked back then you had to lick it oh. no yeah <laughs> to, to make it work <laughs> just like blowing the cartridges for the nes games <laughs> all right <laughs> you're just telling me about the, the thing or whatever uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah, hi. I I bought this camera about 1975. Uh, it's a Kodak uh, X15F. Okay. Oh, it's a Kodak Instamatic. And back in the day, there's like a little space here. You would have to buy um, like little cubes. What's I think the flash. Flash cubes. I think they were like three or no four or five of them that came up up this high for some reason everybody said they would go in and uh stronger and stay there if you licked the bottom of it of the clip and stuck it in so that's what everybody did uh the only reason i stopped using this because this was a cute little camera yeah it took good pictures was because they stopped selling the flash cubes Oh, okay. They they started changing things again. Got to go digital. You know? No, <laughs> this is this is digital. No, when it's not. It, it isn't? No, because you have film. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was one of the first digitals they made. Want to see the first digital camera oh, ever? Yeah, I do. <laughs> and uh, so then they upgraded again to something else and... Uh, I says, well, what's the sense? Then the cell phones came out. And they took pictures, so that was the end of me buying cameras. I thought that is. It's the Game what? Boy camera. Wow! How old is that? So this took digital pictures, essentially, with oh, your camera. Yeah, it. Ah. Digital. Right. It's hard to see me. There we go. I'll go back.
Hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick game hunting video. I am working on another episode where me, Dave, Stephanie, and my mom go out. We hit up Savers and two Goodwills. So I'll be working on that. You probably check it out next week. So subscribe if you're not already. And as always, gamers, I'm Russ Lyman, and keep your world fun bit by bit. And I'll see you next video. And I want to give a super shout out to all my Patreon supporters, Dan Buchanan, Joey Ellis, George Sandoval, Joseph Riviera, Nintendo, Kelly Moore, David Apuzo, Maynard, Joe Shivy, TechWizX, Matthew Hannigan, Alex Kaz, Ayanoshi, Ganaman, Rock Solid Productions, and everyone on my Patreon page. Link below if you want to join, and I'll see you later.